Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. That's what I tell them. I've been grinding for so long, I wake up and chase my goals, I go out and I go get it, how to code, that's all I know, I don't succeed, then I don't breathe, success, what does it mean, if I conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream, dig deep, go out and get it, success chronicles, compete until it's finished, success chronicles, go take care of your business, success chronicles, it's deeper than just winning, success chronicles. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. And today we are here with uh, RJ White, owner and CEO of Vipers Pro Basketball, men's basketball team. Uh, great lady, uh, involved in lots of great things. It's making a positive difference in our world. And I'm so thankful to have her on this episode of the Success Chronicles. So again, thank you so much. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. Well, good deal. I know off air we talked about, uh, you know, your exciting journey and your story. But if you don't mind sharing uh, a little bit about your story with the audience and track your story till now. Sure. So my name is RJ White. I am owner of Vipers Pro Basketball. Uh, aspirationally, my goal is to own a G League or high level um, pro men's basketball team. Um, going backwards, uh, I bought the Vipers in 2014. Right now, fast forward to 2020, we're at over um, 1 million in analytics. We have over seven Fortune 500 sponsors, and we have over 12 country alliances, and we're currently making our mark. That's good stuff. Well, what are, what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of? My kids are the first thing. Most people will say... <laughs> Settling in life, you should wait until you get to where you want to be to have kids. And for me, I feel like they are actually my uh, motivation and my success stories. Like to see them as young leaders, it definitely is a success point for me. Um, being able to say, um, or my parents to say that they um, have seen, you know, uh, the positive growth and um, the success in their child. I feel like that is a great success point. Um, as parents, that's probably the number one thing you want is for your child to reach their goals and strive to get their goals and not allow the world to, you know, kind of eat them up, chew them up and spit them out. So I am kind of uh, proud of that to make my parents and family proud and to yeah. create um, a generational legacy. Another thing I'm proud about is being a woman, you know, in the sports industry and being able to create quite a monster out of the vice first pro basketball organization and to leave my footprint and to continue this legacy and to where I want to go aspirationally, I do feel like that's a good success point. Yeah. So you, you said the magic word there, success, right? Yes. And so just hearing your story, hearing you talking about the things that you're proud of, I would consider those things to be uh, hugely successful. <laughs> uh, let's Thank hit on you. success. What's your definition of success? You know, mental clarity. Like you could be successful as long as you have mental peace and mental clarity. Like for me, success never was attached to money, um, especially where I grew up. You know, a dollar is a surplus. So success for me is being able to just have a clear set of mind, um, being healthy, kids healthy, um, family healthy, and we're able to enjoy each other's uh, company without the uh, regard of uh, finances or, you know, talking about money, things of that nature. So. That's mental good. clarity for me. I like that. Yeah. I like that. So I, I was going to say now to the fun part, but it's all been fun for me. But uh, <laughs> now, now to a different part here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say uh, three words or phrases that come to mind for me. And what I'd okay. like for you to do is just, you know, just talk about, you know, what comes to mind when you hear these words or phrases. And from your end, it could be a word. It could be a phrase. It could be a concept of what you have, but whatever comes to mind for you. Okay. All right. All right. So the first one is sports and life. Sports and life. Um, to me, that is the connection to a worldwide of people. I feel like sports changes lives. It can damage lives. It can um, enhance a environment and it can shake or move a country. So mm, that's, that's good. That's good. <laughs> All right. The next one is entrepreneurship. I feel like not enough. 
there's too many people slaving um, at jobs that will replace them in a second if they were to drop like a fly. So I feel like there should be more entrepreneurs in the world making their mark and uh, following their dreams. Mm, okay. All right. And then the last one, I'm going to pause a little bit because it's a good one. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so the last one is legacy. That is what I am striving to have. Um, yeah. I have spoken to my mom. I've spoken to my dad, grandparents. I just really went through a whole history. I said, what do you need ancestry.com for? If your parents and grandparents are still living, they are the ancestry.com. I literally went through my whole family history to figure out what we have, what we are, um, uh, uh, as far as like mixture culture um, and it just let me know where I come from and you have to know where you come from in order where you're going so my legacy consisted of beauty obviously <laughs> and it consisted of entrepreneurship and consisted of high high ranked uh, females and males of all walks of life including fraternities and it also included just hard-working individuals military you know um, plant workers, yeah. um, models. It was just, it was amazing. So your legacy is knowing your history and where you're trying to take it and continue. It's good stuff. Well, before we get off, if you don't mind sharing with the audience where they can go follow you and check you out and show you some love with all of the amazing things you have going on. Definitely. You can reach me on Facebook. I'm under RJ White. Uh, Instagram, I'm the with a three underscore real underscore RJ White. And pretty much, if you Google R.J. White, Vipers Pro Basketball, I should pop up. Vipers Pro Basketball is just that, viperspobasketball.com. Well, there it is. Again, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time to interview with the Success Chronicles and share those nuggets. Uh, <laughs> I and, try. Uh, <laughs> a little something. Sure. And, I, and I wish you continued success on everything you have going on. Awesome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Stay safe, okay? All right. Well, thank you guys for checking out this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. Go get it.